three PO leg and whether it's Bernstein's beers, bears or whatever, dude, it's so but so anyway, I'm listening to this stuff, right? And then you know, I listen with an open mind. You know, I use my discernment to just sense bullshit when I hear bullshit and then some interesting ideas when I hear interesting ideas. So he was talking about how reality, when observed, will change itself. And I, and I grabbed a hold of that. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I had to rewind that like three times. Like, what did he just say? Like, and he was talking about the single, the single split slit experiment where they it's all about quantum mechanics anyhow that like if you observe if you ob- the act of observing anything changes it it's the whole thing of like you know if a tree falls in the woods and you're not there to hear it does it make a sound type of deal so it was all about I started talking about how reality changes when it's observed and i was like wow man that's that now we're into something interesting dude because i'm a full believer that this is all subjective that this is all subject to our interpretations and what was kind of trippy he was talking about how time is cyclical and it's not linear and it's all about the eternal now and I was, and he was like, I'm a disclaimer. He disclaimed himself as he's an Eckhart Tolle guy. And I, and I was like, all right, at least he disclaimed himself. So he was talking, because I am too. He was talking about the eternal now. And I was tripping about how like life constantly gives you chances to figure out the riddle. And if you don't figure out the riddle, it's going to give you another chance to figure out the riddle. And the minute that you observe reality and realize that it's, and the minute you get super present, like you stop the, the cycle, this never ending cycle of insanity. Anyway, dude, it was, it was, so I'm doing my art and I'm listening to this dude talk about how we're all dead and something cataclysmic happened to Spaceship Earth in 2012. And the reason there's so much disharmony and why people are like going super left wing, right wing, and no one can agree about anything right now is that we're all dead. (laughs) Maybe so. Maybe this is all a dream, man. For real, dude. I don't know. So anyway, man, I went down the bunny hole of this this whole thing, and I kind of got into his whole trip because he was talking about some interesting stuff in the midst of this kind of gobbledygook. It's sort of like the flat earth thing. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't really give it much, like, validity. I don't give the round earth much validity either, but there's some very interesting observational perspectives to put your mind through mental exercises. Dude, I like challenging my mind.